so are you the only married one here? Uh, I believe so. Have you ever been married? I have never been married. Okay. No. Are, you, are you in a relationship? I am in a relationship, yes. Oh, you, you think you're going to get married? We're on the road, yes. You're on the road. We're okay. on the road. Um, <laughs> and you're not married, but you may not be single. You might be in the middle of the road. Have you Something seen what like he does that. for a living? I'm sorry? He should not, he should not be married. <laughs> <laughs> so is a woman more attracted to a man with a wedding ring or without? You would be the per first person to ask answer that question. Um, I'd honestly say yes, because I think that women see it as something that's, you know, there's no strings attached. They can go for it. They can try to hit on him, whatnot. It's something that they can't have. So it's that, that drive to want to see if they can get this guy who is taken and see if they can get him to, you know, step outside the house for a little while. I actually kind of think I agree with you. I think that some women look and think it is a man who does want to settle down or has, is responsible probably maybe as kids, and they do have that little, oh, let's just play around with this, you know, and there are no strings attached. I think that's interesting. What do you think? To me, it doesn't make sense, because if a woman goes after a guy who's got a wedding ring, and he responds, then what's to say he's not going to do it again with somebody else? Very exactly. True. Is it a uh, double standard? Do, did your woman have to wear a wedding ring if you're married? I think, you know, but I grew up a little more traditional. You know, my family's been in, they educated us in a way that wedding band is, is, is a big deal. It's a symbol. And so, mm -hmm. so for me, I can't wait till I get mine and I'll wear it with pride. Got it. And oh, I nice. Can... Uh, what nice about, uh, so next topic is, would you be with a woman who was saving herself for marriage? Um, the Olympic athlete Lolo Jones says so she's 27 and she's made it clear that she's saving herself for marriage. What would you, how would you feel about that? You meet a woman in a bar, she's hot, she comes up to you because we know you don't like to approach women, so she comes up to you and... I, I, I don't know. She, and she's, she's athletic. She, when, she, when she's ready, she will have a lot to unleash. <laughs> you know what I mean? They'd be all for you. So what, what do you think? Well, I think, uh, what do I think? I think that <laughs> when you meet, right, the first, the first word, I mean, given the circumstance, the first sentence is not, hey, are we going to sleep together or not? So, you know, you start a conversation, you get to know each other, you talk. Um, Your buddy says, hey, dude, she's a virgin. I know she is. I already went there, and she's a virgin. I'm not dating her. What do you say? Well, I don't go up and approach people given what my buddies say. Got it. Okay. okay. So, right. But I feel like, I feel like, uh, you know, you find the person, you find out about the person, you, you click, you guys, now you like each other, and, you know, maybe day two or three, she's like, I have this big secret to tell you, I'm a virgin. Now you already like her, so now you're going to make a decision. But actually, Kirstie Alley said it the best. She's like, you know, sex is only about, what, three hours uh, a day? So what do you do with the other 21? And, and I, given that formula... Kirstie Alley's having three hours of sex a day? I actually thought three hours is not enough. But anyway. Wow. I, uh, <laughs> no, but so go, going according to that, you know, I, I think sex is not the most important thing. I don't know how I would respond. But how like would I you said, respond? Well, if you look at how, like, Kendra and I became um, together. We, Kendra was a virgin when you guys met. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody we, uh, in the play, Playboy Mansion? We, um, <laughs> when we met, it was, like, long distance. <laughs> It was a long distance, so we had to get all the BS aside, and we were on the phone constantly, you know, putting it all out there and getting to know one another. So it wasn't like sex was the upfront thing. And so many relationships now, they are built on sex. But if you take the time to get to know each other and you find out that you, this is the person for you, you can not understand the way. But most guys now, if, you, if, you, if the woman drops it on, hey, I'm nice to meet you, I'm a virgin, you're right. going to be like... Run for the hills. Yeah, it's going to be like right away. Yeah, if you get to know the right person, then you find that it's click, it's worth waiting for. Okay, so if it's a virgin, don't say it right away. And you all date virgins in the right circumstances.